I'm pleased to be with award-winning comedian. Your album, I'm a Bad Decision. Yes. Nahoku Hano Hano Award. Please put your hands together. Brandy Morgan. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. It's <laughs> lovely to be here. I'm thrilled to be here actually. So I feel like a celebrity here. You being are interviewed on TV. <laughs> oh my gosh. So tell me, what was it like to win that Nahoku Hano? It wasn't it was incredible. It really was. I mean, I never it's one of those things that when I got hit when Holy Girl came to the island, I, I never thought I would ever win a Hoku, not Hoku Hano Hano Award, but I was up there and oh, oh my god, oh my god, this is like and there's so many, you know, great names who won the, won that award mm -hmm. and you know here I'm with my little CD, frankly, but still, you know, it's, it's a thrill to be part of it. So tell me a little bit about being transgender in Hawaii and being a transgender comedian. Well, first of all, being transgender in Hawaii, I think it's actually pretty good here. I mean, in some places, you know, there's a lot more discrimination. Yeah, here, Hawaii pretty much gets it. I mean, I very rarely get any, any, you know, negative feedback. And myself being a transgender comedian, frankly, for me, it's kind of helped me. Comedy's kind of helped me deal with being transgender. Uh, for a long time, I was in denial, and I was in the closet. And, but when I finally started coming out, it was scary. Mm. You know, and even after I came out, there were certain places I couldn't go. And, you know, I was worried about doing this, worried about doing that. But the more I came out, you know, it gets a little easier. But then, then I did a couple open mics. And that went really well. And then I actually, eventually I got asked to perform with the female comics of Hawaii. Wonderful. And so when I met them, when I was up there the first time, I thought, you know, I don't have to hide anymore. You know, so I'm on stage, you know, and I'm, here I am. Yourself. And Yeah, and it's, it's, it's a really wonderful feeling. And I, I think it's really helped me kind of grow into my transgenderness. Wonderful. Transgenderness, is that even a word? I don't know. Maybe your person. Yeah, yeah. The woman but, that you yeah, are. It, but it really, it, 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 I felt that helped me mm -hmm. a great deal. All right, so Brandy's hosting the big I show hosting. happening tonight. Yeah. Next, we're going to chat with the headliner, Patrice Scott. Actress, entertainer, comedian. Yes. <laughs> You're headlining the big show. Yes, and I'm so excited about it. Me too. So tell me, how did you get your start in comedy? Well, I was on the Ed Sullivan show when I was three years old. Whoa. I'm lying. Oh. Of course I wasn't on the Darn. Ed Sullivan show. <laughs> I wish I was, though. I used to watch the Ed Sullivan show. Okay. And I really wanted to be Topo Gijo, which you have no idea Before who my that time. is. He was a little mouse, a little mouse puppet. And so I think I started my unrealistic goals very early in life because I'm not a puppet and I'm not a mouse. But I really wanted that job. He got to go like, and the kiss me was night. <laughs> like, you know, every night. And I just wanted to do that. So I kept saying it and saying it. And, you know, oh, it was a hard dream to squish. But got that out of my system. And so then, you're a jokester from a young age. Yeah. So luckily I got some better role models like Carol Burnett and Phyllis Diller. And, you know, so things improved once mm -hmm. I got over my first initial not being a puppet, not being a mouse, and you know. Do you find that uh, you feed off of the vibe of other women and, and being a part of this women's show? Oh, is absolutely. Her? And normally I'm the MC. That's my favorite job. Okay. I love to MC, I love to host because I can't remember anything. And when you're the host, you do a little five minutes, the next, bring the comedian up, and then you play with the crowd a little bit, then you do it again, but you can go look at your material and stuff. So it's a lot easier for me, and I, I like that position. So this is a stretch, and I'm really excited about it. Mark's Garage is the best place to have a comedy show, for one thing, and there's so many fun places around her, but the actual show itself, we've got a strong lineup. Brandy's gonna MC, and even if you did, maybe for some odd reason, you didn't like this or that, just stick around. Brandy will bring you right back up, and then, you know, you get me at the end. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank it's you. It's gonna so be much. fun. Yay!